Today what I want to talk about is homemade black powder. Now I'm not going to teach you how to make black powder. There are several videos out on YouTube. Hoffman Reproductions has a great series on that. If you're really interested in learning how to do this, I would go there. It's really good videos. Uh, but anyway, the other day I made some charcoal. I used uh, aspen to make my charcoal because willow charcoal's supposedly the best, but you can use several things, cedar, pine, willow. You want a, the softer hardwoods make the faster burning powders. So anyway, I went through the process like I said, on uh, Hoffman Reproductions videos, did their process with it, turned out pretty good. And I will actually have, uh, we will go to some burn tests on, because I actually got four grades of powder, ranging from Canon down to 1, 1F, 2F. Some of the grains are bigger because you when you, you have to sift it through different screens to get the size. Then I have 3F and then 4F and basically dust, which is your priming powder. 3F for rifles, 1F, 2F is your musket grade. And I did uh, do some coarse for cannon grade and it may just be a little too coarse because my cannon's kind of small. It can actually shoot 1F or quite well. So we'll, we'll test that and see how it goes. Also, if, as you're watching this, you can see actually how fast this powder it, uh, burns. The uh, coarse powder was a little bit slower. The 2F did great. I screwed up the video on the, the 3F and the 4F, and they were much faster. Uh, now, when I'm out, if I'm out hunting with my rifles, I'm going to have the 3F in it, and I'm going to be priming with the 4F. The 4F was actually the fastest burning, but I will have to do another... Uh, test burn and it's just a little too chilly outside here to be hanging out outside doing that So I did do a pan flash test and that will be coming up in just a second 